Poisson regression in Jamovi is a test that is used when the outcome or the dependent variable or the response is measured in count. The number of events happening such as the number of patients attending a GP per year or the number of patients visiting dentist per year or the number of uh, individuals attending accident and emergency in hospitals or even the number of uh, student scoring first class in a faculty of uh, medicine in any university. Uh, so the test is used when the outcome is in count and for counting the data has to be integer whole number it cannot be fractions or decimals or it cannot be negative value but it can be zero the independent variables can be nominal ordinal or continuous or all of the three together here in this Jamovi data view, I have data for 100 participants and there are four different variables. The first three are independent variables and the count is the dependent variable. So the three variables, gender, motivation and weight, are the predictors or the explanatory variables and the count uh, is the uh, dependent variable or the outcome or the response. Uh, the gender is dichotomous nominal variable that have two categories in it, male or female. The second variable is the motivation. How motivated is the participant measured in a scale from 1 to 10? The weight is a continuous variable that is measured in kilogram and the count is a, a number of event taking place. In this study, it is the number of session attended by participant per year uh, these sessions are for weight control to examine whether these three different independent variables can contribute to the number of the session attended by each participant then Poisson regression will be performed. For performing this regression, two major assumptions have to be met. The first one is that the mean and the variance for the count variable, the outcome variable or the dependent variable here has to be equal, called equidispersion. To check whether the count data um, uh, fulfill the first assumption, click on exploration, click on descriptive, then move the count to variables and then arrange the output in across rows and in statistics uh, and take the median and take the minimum maximum and take the standard deviation take the variance as shown here in the spontaneously generated table descriptive table the mean and the variance for the count the mean is 19.9 and the variance 19.3 so these two values are very close so then the first assumptions for Poisson regression is fulfilled. For the second assumption is that the distribution of outcome, in this case the count, has to 
follow Poisson distribution. To check that, click here on the uh, normality test for Shapiro Welk or Shapiro Welk. A table is generated or addition of the test is added to the descriptive table. As it's shown here, the p-value is 0.44. So this shows that the count data for this study is following Poisson distribution. To perform the Poisson regression, there should be a icon for linear models. If it is not installed, you can install that by clicking on the plus signs for modules and select the uh, icons from this library here and download and install this function. So to do the test, click on linear models, scroll down to generalized linear um, model or models and here in this window click on Poisson test for regression move the count to the dependent variable the gender to the factors and the motivation and the weight into the covariates a spontaneous table is generated as shown here model results for the three predictors gender motivation and weight there is a statistical significant p-value for gender and for motivation but weight is not significant scroll down here make sure that this box is ticked for exponential beta and for exponential beta a table is generated here for the parameter estimate this is a very important table this table shows that the three factors the gender the motivation and the weight and there are two important uh, values here the p-value and the exponential beta for the analysis ignore the intercept and for the first predictor which is the gender female to male and if we look at the p-value it is significant less than 0.05 and the exponential beta is equal to 1.1 this is an important value here the reference value is 1 so anything above 1 uh, will be an increase or higher. Anything below 1, there will be a decrease or lower. So in this case, subtract the 1.1 from 1, end up in 0.1. Multiply that by 100 to generate percentage, so it will be 10%. This result shows that... Uh, 10% more females are attending the sessions compared to males and this is significant value. For the motivation there is significant value and the exponential beta is 1.06 that will be equal to 6%. So for each unit of increase in motivation, there is a 6% increase in the attendance or attending the session. For the weight, there is no significant p-value. This is the way to perform Poisson regression analysis in Jamovi.